It continues. <laughs> that it does. Welcome back to Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. And border jump time. Hey, World 1 and Level 1 is in the back. Yeah, along with World 1 music. The fame, so the famous. Good times. Who are you guys exactly? <laughs> For them. So they are the... <laughs> Wait, don't they? There's only guys who would work for Bowser. Really? I mean, how do they know us exactly? They're famous. But they, but they, they, but they said good times, good times. That would, that would be that they would actually know them personally. Maybe they watched, they had a TV show. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they maybe had a movie. Oh, wait. Maybe you have an N64 or a GameCube. <laughs> you get meta. Uh, that's still not personal. It doesn't okay. need to be personal. Okay. So, how many times did you do this throughout the game? Uh, the border jump? Yeah. Oh, this, this is this, you only had to do it once. Oh, thank God. Though so there are there are optional challenges which I will show off. Yay. But I don't show, like, basically there's three optional challenges, and then there's a final optional challenge where you play all the challenges back to back. Mm. I don't show off the, optional, the basic optional challenges, I show off, like, the complete, like, the entire set all at once. Do you get anything worthwhile? You get beans, which you can make into, like, basically espressos, and which give you, uh, stats, like, stat boosts. Uh. Permanent? I'll be showing- I'll be showing that off later. Permanent stat boost? Yes, yeah, permanent stat boost. Ooh. Yeah. Which is why I try to get as many beans as I can. Are they hard to come by? Some are. Like, uh, there's four different types of beans, and I forget what they're called, but give me a second and I'll find them. Beans, beans, the best good food, the boy you and... eat, the boy you eat. <laughs> Luigi beans. Bean, uh, Superstar Saga. There's four different types of beans. Woo beans, which are green, and are normally found fighting enemies throughout uh, the BB Castle Town. He beans are yellow and are awarded as prizes in mini games. Chuckle beans are red beans hidden underground. <laughs> yes, I. <laughs> Anyways, um. They're hidden in the ground, with, like, in a distinct X marks the spots. Wait, Super Bowl to jump Sunshine? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's that's the reference to Mario Sunshine I was mentioning. That might not have been a reference in sense. You're kidding me? Just because, oh, <laughs> you kidding me, dude? so if any game uses the word Sunshine, it's apparently a Super Mario Sunshine reference? It's Mario, okay? It's Mario, they mentioned Sunshine. Why would they use Sunshine if Sunshine wasn't out yet? Because it might have been in development. Regardless, if, if even if Mario Sunshine was a developer, Luigi's Mansion would have been out by now. Okay, well, what year did this game come out? I not, I'm still talking about beans here. Give me a minute. <laughs> who and there's the fourth type is who beans. They're brown and the rarest type, and are found in invisible question marks in seemingly dead end areas. They are really, really, really tricky to find. But uh. Um, Internet. <laughs> yeah, let me uh super. Star Saga. Star Saga came out when? Uh, what? Uh, oh, actually, it came out in North America first, so I'll use North American, which is November 11, 2003. That's. Luigi's Mansion. Uh, not Dark Moon, Luigi's Mansion 1. Came out September 14th, 20, uh, 2001, so... Yeah, okay, but Sunshine. Was... Hang on, hang on. Super Mario Sunshine. Click. Came out a year before this. Uh. So it is a reference and I was right. No, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a reference. It's still there. I'm still partially right. Not really, unless they say it's absolutely the game. What relation does this have to the game Sunshine, other than the name? 
Yes. <laughs> See, you're wrong there. That's my answer. Well, that's not the right answer. Regardless, we're still jumping, but now we're almost done jumping. Now we're done jumping. You're jumping like that. <laughs> we're done jumping, see? Jump on the flag! Can't. It won't- it is- there's no way to actually walk around this room. No! Good old five! Beep. B time! Ooh. And I also got two, three, and five from the previous uh, challenges. So I actually have roughly like I want to say fifteen to seventeen. I'm not entirely sure how much I actually got. I was gonna say more beans. <laughs> no be bean map though. Made out of beans. I'm sure. Now let's just show off the map here, for some reason. Yeah, go back and read the sign. Thank you. Area 64? <laughs> yes, that is intentional. Can you actually jump on the spikes? Um, yes, but it doesn't hurt you, it just makes Mario and Luigi, like, have a, have a spaz attack and fly backwards, like, about two feet. <laughs> you show it off? No. Oh. There's no point. I'll show off the battles, the battles later. Maybe because battling, here, battling before this upcoming thing is a waste of time. You'll see why in a moment. Yeah. So Mario's I mean, a what did I? I did edit out this freaking save. How did I forget that one? Whatever. Oh, hi, Ben. Whatever. It was only one. Yes, yeah, so we just got coins for his ass. <laughs> Dirty money brings new meaning. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, well, they're totally funny. Oh, this this asshole. Oh yeah. <laughs> Pull star. For tablespoon. <laughs> Bitch. Q two, okay. <laughs> 111 coins. I want to sh point out something in just a moment once it says it. Mm -hmm. These are mushroom coins, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. They're, now we now we have to go through the uh, exchange rates. No matter how many coins you have at this point, it'll always be 10 BB coins. No matter how many coins you have, you can have like the max amount of coins you can get at this point, it'll still be 10 BB coins. Why can't you just screw them over and beat them up? That's not till later. Besides, we can't get over there yet. Yeah, this is how you get the coins. So you get coins from battles and blocks and such. Can't go there yet. How come, come we didn't get coins earlier? Because because if we got the coins up there, it wouldn't have mattered. You just would have taken them away. No, no, I mean, how did you not get the right kind of money the earlier? Because we were in the, bee, the Mushroom Kingdom. They only take BB bee bee coins here. Those were Mushroom Kingdom coins. Were there coins. no enemies in the rest of this area? Wouldn't have mattered. It would still add to our coin count, which would have still register, been registered as Mushroom Kingdom coins. Weird. Yeah. Besides, this guy's an asshole anyways, so... Oh. Pretty much, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, 
Oh look, this game looks pretty easy. Huh? This game looks pretty easy. Like how? Well, um, that was me jumping through a fight. Obviously. I don't joke through this one because it leads you to a soon new enemy, Bill Launchers. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, the the fact that Luigi's like a like a little bit further away than Mario actually does matter for attacks. So like if two enemies like if like if both those Bill Launchers shot out at the same time, Mario would have to jump before Luigi. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It actually takes the distance into account. I'm guessing it's the enemies to get harder, the timing is gonna be much strict. Uh, maybe I don't really remember. Level three, break dancing Mario. <laughs> what does Stash do again? A uh, Stash is uh, uh, gives you a higher chance for lucky hits. It also uh, gives you a discount on things at the shop. What is? Stupid name. <laughs> it's not stupid because 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 the the shopkeepers admire your silky stash and give you discounts. Mustache. <laughs> Mustache. <laughs> oh, go go. Is it called that in all the games? Yes, oh, I'm pretty sure anyways. Oh god, stash. Moustache. Moustache. <laughs> hmm, that's, that's, a cu that's a curious looking star over there. I'm gonna step on it. Hmm? Does Yoshi appear in this game in any form? Yes. Okay. At least these games didn't forget about Yoshi. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, these two guys who are here for some reason. Yeah. Mm. Are they toads? I believe so. They're toads with cool, cool shades. Mm. They're stupid, aren't they? Kinda, yeah. Also, Mario and Luigi walk off under nothing there. If you look at the bottom of the screen, that's a that's a gap there. They're on the edge. Out the edge. <laughs> Living on the edge. Of tomorrow. Explosion! <laughs> you can tell it's Mario from just that. <laughs> you, you, you can tell it's Mario from him crashing into you. <laughs> So this whole game's plot is all about pretty much copying the Little Mermaid. Lose your voice. It's been stolen. Not the whole game. Not the whole game? That's like, maybe a bit more than half, maybe? Huh. But definitely not the whole game. Tutorial sequence. How do we get out here? Uh, Zach, we're talking about characters who can stop time. Mario and Luigi can't stop time. They did. What happened? They stopped time, and we only we saw it from the perspective of Mario and Luigi how they saw it. It just happened. We will we we will just assume that Mario and Luigi can use chaos control. No, 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 no. I prefer the way I said it. This time it makes sense. They stopped time. They took us here, put us there, and they got to their spot, and then. Time started up again. To us, our eyes, it would appear that we just teleported. Eh. Still doesn't, still doesn't logically make sense. Also, yeah, yeah, because it's high jump, Luigi just keeps saying hi to you whenever you switch to it. Huh. Well, I already knew the problem was so high. Look at all the mushrooms they <laughs> <laughs> Take this for a spin! <laughs> I don't call that piggyback, I call that standing on top of the other one's head. 
None of it. Also, uh, also these guys have uh, better uh, high jump and spin jump abilities than us. <laughs> uh, we can only we can only high jump so far and, and spin jump so far. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of the, the combination stuff like this. And I'm getting sick of level one, level one right now. Well, get used to it because that's the tutorial music for the game. Uh, Mario, you were off the edge. <laughs> yep. Living on the edge. Living on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> when do you get the hammers again? Um. Not till a little bit later. If we were going part wise, I'd say two or three parts from now. I think that's a, I mean, I'm not going that far at least. I got bored. Because <laughs> this all looks familiar still. I don't think these guys. Yeah, everyone is a star. That's where you get the new stuff, isn't it? Uh. Sorry, what, what was that now? When a star where they cut, went in and come out, that, whenever you see those, that's where you get the new stuff, isn't it? For only for only for this area, though. I'll still level up. Also, I'm not a big fan of it, the bonus, because it's, like, it's all luck. Um, it's... It's less luck and more timing, at least in Dream Team, anyway. There's like, it's actually like a slot reel that you can like stop on a certain number. Maybe it's not just completely randomized. Still not a fan of that kind of stuff. That's, that's a one time thing. Mm. If anything, if you want to choose a stat boost, I prefer how so my RPG does it, it just lets you choose. Hmm. And to balance it out is that you pretty much want to choose a specific one because it has a bigger boost, but technically you could choose a different stat, but it won't be as nearly as big. Oh yeah, something I should mention about leveling up. Um, your uh, the amount of uh, stat points you get from the, roll the roulette wheels depends on how many times you use the roulette wheel on that stat in a row. Uh. So, like, so, like, just so you don't overpower yourself, it gets lower, the lever gets lower and lower each time you do it. But if you keep switching to, like, different ones, it'll generally be, like, the same height. Somewhat same concept, somewhat of small RPG's way of doing it, where you just add smaller numbers for the ones you... But like, it's random, I think. I can order, take it in order. Hmm. Like, it's HP, flower points, and... What's the other stat? Damage, I think. I think it's attack. Hmm. And it just goes back, it, like, it goes in, like, an order, and it keeps doing that. So you can't just choose the same one over and over and get the big boost for all the time. I mean, technically, hmm. you can just attack every single time, but... You can get, like, three, one, one. Three, one, one. It sounds like Paper Mario to me. Cause then like, it's a RPG like, Oh, I can choose three, three, one stat three, the other three, and all, and all of it. So you don't get any ones. You just can't focus on a single stat. Mm -hmm. And they too can stop time. See, even these guys could like stop time, even slow down time. Oh wait, no way. You see, these moves does slow down time, so Mario Luigi can slow down time, but not stop time. <laughs> the learning. <laughs> <laughs> Though I never have them slow down time, just because by having like the slow down attacks and everything. You use more bros points by having like this attack at 
like full speed without button prompts, uh, it uses less. But you need to have the perfect timing. Yeah, but I've played this game so much, I know the timing. Of all the attacks? Not all of them, but then again, I don't even use all of them. Wait, is it deciding how many help, how many you spend? Yeah, like you see, like you see the number on the inside. Yeah. I was changing like four, then three. Um, that's how many bros points you use when you use the attack. Yeah, benefit you greatly is in um you use the less bro points. It also if you use the if you get like if you man like, use bros attacks efficiently, like get all three hits landed. Eventually, uh, they'll, le they'll, uh, learn an advanced move for it, which, uh, tends to make the attack stronger. Uh. Or get- or possibly also give it special properties. But I'll get- I'll get into that more once we, uh, once we actually, like, get an ability like that. You should be near the end of this part by now. Uh. We still got a bit to go. Oh, or five more minutes. Oh, can't do anything up there. How much have you recorded? Is this all you've recorded up to this point? So far, yeah. Oh, goody. May I remind you that all the uh, amount of time for the videos, I spent more than that actually recording this. Oh, nope. No three. But at least it's two. Trust me, you died. <laughs> I killed it. What does the one-up mushroom do? Does it actually revive? Is it normal reviving? Yeah, like, like if, if either Mario or Luigi run out of HP, you can use a one-up to heal them. But if the enemy is, like, one hit away, I w just don't bother, like, just kill it, and once you're out of the battle, um... Admittedly, when you, admittedly, when you finish the battle, the other the down character won't get experience. But um, when you finish the battle, uh, the character will be revived with one HP. Uh, the only reason I don't like these games so much is because there's only two party members. Yeah, but honestly, Mario and Luigi do okay on their own. Uh, it's just that there's not much creativity behind it. Like in the Super Mario RPG, you can choose like. Okay, you have a healer, you have a you have mage, you have your range, physical attacker. In this, you only have Mario and Luigi. Yeah, but uh, speaking of uh, Super Mario RPG, there's a reference to that uh, much, much, much later in the game. We won't be getting that for at least a few. Gino? A few dozen parts, yeah. Gino, why are you not in anything anymore? Boss fight! Gino for Smash. Now here's the thing, I somehow like do like too much damage to him here or something. Because like, uh, he's supposed to have a lot of dialogue that says, uh, even watching which arrow I throw with won't help you. But for some reason, I don't know what happened, but he just doesn't say that line of dialogue. He's going too fast. I don't know, like maybe I did too much damage to him at first. Good. Awesome. Great. Outstanding. Oh, amazing! Yuck, 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 yuck. Basically, bros attack, lather, rinse, repeat until you run out of, uh, of uh, bros points, then use a syrup jar to refill. So, wait, did I share bro points, I'm guessing? No. As you can see, Luigi and Mario have their own set of bros points at the bottom there. So, the ones Mar who uses the bro points is the one who initiates it, I'm guessing? Yes. <laughs> but how about- Each brother- Each brother has their own- has their own separate, uh, bros points and HP. Well, HP, uh, but it seemed like it's the bro points, I thought maybe they might share. Considering what they're doing. True, but... So, he ate it just like Popeye with eat spinach. 
Now you mentioned that it does tend to reduce the upper level, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's the better vision of the one-up mushroom? Is there anything better? Because there should be something. Yeah, yes, it's a uh, one-up deluxe. It heals uh, all health, all of your HP. I'm guessing there's super mushroom. It heals you more. Yes, there's super mushroom, ultra mushrooms, and max mushrooms, which also apply to syrups and nuts. Syrups, <laughs> these nuts. <laughs> these nuts. No, not these nuts. These nuts. Uh, <laughs> no, no, you got me saying it. <laughs> Nut, nuts uh, heal both uh, party members, both Mario and Luigi. What if the RPG games using syrup as your MP slash flower? Like, heal like item. I don't know. Because it's tasty, don't you know? Uh, why is the candy in the table? I don't know. And it's probably the end of the part. Nope. Almost. Here. Here it is. The end every part of the save point. Mm-hmm. Just because it's the easiest way to end it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's the end of part two, so... Yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna do for Final Fantasy. Okay, Might be that's a tricky. good. Might be little... I gotta teach you to edit before we do before you do that, though. <laughs> because I Because there's no way I'm editing through all of that. Hell no. Well, like, but yeah, you give me an editing part, uh, software. Oh, I keep forgetting to. <laughs> but it's not hard to do. But, uh, anyway, that's the end part two, so we'll see you guys in the next part. Uh.